Good morning. I'm a man who likes systems. And I live in an RV full time. And I have a lot of footwear now that I'm thinking about it. Team of Town, I'm going to do a review or initial impressions on the Vivo Barefoot. You can see here that I like shoes, I think. Well, I like barefoot. That's the honest truth. And my favorite all-time footwear right now, besides being barefoot, are these earth runners. You can tell I have I have a couple, so so these are the the most barefoot of them. They do have that grounding plug. I found they held up. This is actually my second pair. I wore one pair out running a lot, swimming, rafting, kayaking, stand up paddle boards, traveling, traveling internationally. I absolutely love this footwear. This one, uh, this particular pair I've run a lot in. And so I liked it so much and they held up so well. And I liked the pricing, it was okay for me. So I got, I like these Ranger laces, so that's the green. And I like these, I think this is called the tribal pattern. So yeah, I just, as you can see, I'm a sandal guy. But as you can also see, I injured myself last time I went uh, a couple weeks ago. I was running, um, doing a trail run up the mountain in the deserts of Tucson where I live. And I stubbed my toe pretty good. I thought I broke it for a second, but I'm okay. Now, it took about two weeks to heal to the point where I'm running again. So for those two weeks, I wore these exclusively, the Vivo Barefoot Trackers. Love them. And it's kind of like, I think I should probably get some tennis shoes that are zero drop. And so this is what I ordered myself. A Vivo Barefoot firm ground to I thought you know if I have to wear shoes get some styly ones and then I also said to myself I'm gonna get me something classy something snazzy go drink wine and go to coffee shops get me a date so I picked up these are called the Gobi 3 Cork soles, all leather uppers, really minimalist, good ground feel. Definitely love these. Um, and these ones, I don't know, the verdict's out. I tried them around the house and just in the yard a little bit. And there's nothing really special about them, but they have the same lug pattern. I don't know, this one is like a meh. To me, the lug pattern is the same as these these Vivos, these trackers that I've, I've had these for almost 10 years probably. Also done a lot of heavier adventures with them. And, um, now they've softened up a little bit. Um, so the theory is if these will soften up, I think they'll be good shoes. They're a little heavier than I expected. Um, I'm even considering Okay, I'll get the proper name for them. Here, Primus Trail 2 Firm Ground Men, size 12. I go by the European sizes, I'm a 45. But the thing, I, was, I wore them, I walked around the house, and I found I was kind of heel striking, or I was, they're a little heavier than I'm used to, so I was kind of walking a little different than I do barefoot or with these sandals. I like hitting, you know, toe to heel, toe to heel. I think that's the natural movement. So with these, they're so light that I do that. And I think that's healthy. So this is my barefoot lineup. I'm considering jettisoning this amount of systems, I told you. I'm considering which shoes to jettison. I think I'll get rid of those because I got them for free anyway somewhere. 
them. They're just kind of like a painter's boot or a pressure washing. These shoes also have a heel. They're flat, but they do have a heel. I got these for free someplace. They're kind of classy leather. And I do yard work in those. I do yard work in those. So I wish I could jettison them. Um, these comfortable slippers I got for free. Same with those, the different color scheme. These are flat, zero drop, I got for free. I do like them. Um, and then the Vans, flat. I think the difference, you'll notice, it's not actually that much in how wide the toe box is. So I picked up those shoes because I like their wide toe box. They're zero drop, they don't hurt my back. Two pairs of fancy shoes. They have pretty flat soles. I do have a little bit of heel raise. And then another pair of... And then blunt. These ones have a wider toe box. These are blunt stones. Um, a motorcycle boot, work boot. So I think I'm pretty pleased with my collection right now. Um, and then I did pick up these on an REI sale for, I don't know, was it 30 or 40 bucks? They're normally a hundred something. These are the bedrock sandals. I like them. They're, um, I've done some, some light backpacking already with them and it's just kind of a different feel. It's, it feels more like a, it's got a lot of tread compared to something like this. And definitely more than something like this. So I, I got inspired to buy these because they were, like I said, 30 or 40 bucks. And I uh, try a new style. I saw a guy hike up. I mean, I, I ran trail up this mountain peak and someone else was kind of running and hiking in these. And I said, huh, looks all right. Um, they are narrower, but it's another style. Kind of goes through the middle of the toe instead of on the side. I find them comfortable. They have the Velcro back there have Vibram soles. So, consensus, favorite all-time shoe, this. This is the thinnest of the Earthrunners lineup. I see now that they're making the different sole that's a little different. I don't think it's Vibram. So I actually just ordered one with that kind of sole with a different color. To see if um yeah just to see um just because i know i like the shoe and why not i think i got the purple the purple color scheme it's kind of a deep dark red purple maybe something like this i don't know we'll see when it gets here but yeah shoes i hate that i need them but but I think, I think I'll be pleased with these, especially. I, I'm sure I'm gonna wear the life out of these ones. The cool thing, I don't know, you can get them resold and stuff after you wear them out, but they're supposed to hold up pretty good. I've seen reviews, leathers, comfortable as all get out. These, ah, they're heavier than I like. Will I trail run in them? No. I'll just wear them around town when I need a casual tenny. And then these are my running and going out whenever possible. If I need to work, which I do often, I'll wear these. They're wide, they're flat. So someone actually gave the, these to me too, so that was a blessing. Um, yeah, I mean, not zero drop, but if you're kicking down barbed wire fences and kicking up dust, Landscaping, I'll use these if I'm inside on a job. These polish up nicer, but I do like construction type stuff in those boots. Those suck, but if I'm pressure washing a, seat, a roof or elastomeric coating a roof, which I've done before, I'll, I'll use these stupid things. These give me back pain. Maybe it's the work, I don't know. <laughs> but that's the whole idea for me. Um, my name is Timo Town, and I basically I found that I started to get back pain when I did a lot of outdoor adventures. 
um, because I'm really active. Mobility is a big value of mine. It's, um, this isn't really minimalistic, but I'm trying to have the same consistency and zero drop in all of my footwear, most of my footwear, minus those because motorcycle riding, you don't, I might ride motorcycle on these. They don't have a lot of protection though. But yeah, that's a better motorcycle boot. Any of those. And I went to a wedding in that one. But I could probably use these in the future. Or maybe even. Maybe even. Yeah, probably those. Okay. There's my moment of vulnerability. Showing you my living space. Check out these Alaska Ulus bonus. And I'll show you another bonus. This is my this is my knife collection. <laughs> I'm so silly. So silly. I'm a man of systems. These are all copper. This one's kind of cool. Um Different main stream knives. This one's cool. So I, I basically pick a shoe, pick a knife. I have black trousers, and I have several athletic shorts that I wear, and depending what I need to do. And. I don't know. Oh, systems, I got hats. <laughs> this is a motorcycle backpack. This is my travel pack. It's cold, so I got motorcycle jacket, wool, green sweater that I love. I digress. So this is mostly about um, these two new Vivo barefoot shoes that I got. Do I like them? Love. Mm. Indifferent. Love. Glenstones I like. I like these square chisel toed ones. Um, but they're not minimalist and if I wear them for half a day they start hurting my back. So I'm starting to move away from that. All zero drop. Do I recommend zero drop? Barefoot style shoes? Yes, I do. I also have a 10% um, with the affiliate program with the zero shoes. So I've made some money telling people to use my referral. Mostly I just put it back into getting more of these. I, I'm done buying. Actually, I'm done buying these because I got everything I need in the way of sandals. These I'll throw out pretty soon, and I'll start running in one of these pairs. I did like running in this pair though too, it's even thinner. So it's kind of a toss up if I want to run in this or that, so. Okay, hope you're doing well. Again, I'm Timo Tan, and I love my feet, and I love my back, and I love adventures. And this is, these are my platforms for the adventures. Hope you're doing well. Blessings.